As many artists know, making it in the world of art and design is no easy task. With that understanding, Virginia State University's mission is to produce the artists of tomorrow, one individual at a time. We want our students to be able to compete at the highest level possible in the real world. I want the students to be ready to go out to the workforce. They really push us to do better and um, I've definitely learned a lot. My main thing is to push students to become better team players and also be more creative. Once they're here, what they need to expect is to draw, 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 draw. There's more concerns about that particular project. The art and design program at Virginia State University is preparing is students for careers in the growing field of graphic design. Make sure you turn the E and the V. With the variety of skills and professional backgrounds, faculty members are guiding students towards careers that make the most of their artistic talents. Make sure that you do that. Uh, that's how we're actually going to work next class. The classes cover everything from topography to 3D animation. But each student begins with first year coursework that covers all the basics they need for success. That takes them through uh, theory and drawing and gives them that basis so that everybody, could, um, by the end of the freshman year, has that same footing. With that foundation laid, students go on to create portfolios that demonstrate their skill and determine their eligibility to continue the program. You need to tab it over to where that will start. The process is repeated after the sophomore year. What it does is it gives the students a overview of what they have done the entire year, their entire sophomore year, and it gives them the feedback they need to develop. That's what I'm saying. Bring you as close to a real world example. Once they've committed to the program, students are in for a rigorous routine that is far from easy. So what do you think it is so far? We really push the fundamentals of it and we also push uh, learning the theoretical basis of art. But students get plenty of personalized help along the way. A perk that's made possible by smaller class sizes than most other programs like it can offer. We don't have class sizes of 30 students. We don't have class sizes of 20 students. We have class sizes of 8 to 15. And we would be able to give them the one-on-one -on -one attention that is um, has become a hallmark of our program. Any questions about that? The program's instructors come from a variety of professional backgrounds and areas of expertise and are eager to share what they know with up-and-coming artists. For our students to be successful and to be competitive in the market, um, they have to know all these basic design skills and techniques um, that you just can't get from, you know, a book or Video. The attention and guidance students receive is balanced with an emphasis on learning independence and self-reliance as their school days turn into work days. I absolutely love it. We want them to be able to get out there and practice professionally. Um, we're, we're developing uh, students who are competitive in the workforce. Kind of like uh, brainstorm a little. The newest addition to the program is an animation track in which students learn to make animated creations, form short cartoons, to complex three-dimensional renderings. It's a challenging specialty that requires full commitment from students. So as soon as you have some definitive ideas, we'll talk about them, all right? They have to work for it. So if they want it and they want to work for it, we can almost guarantee that they will become an animator. Okay. You might have to convert all those images oh, to that okay. frame. Yeah, go ahead and sketch these out. Make sure you get every detail. Faculty members are proud that the first student to enroll in this track has been accepted into the Academy of Arts in California to specialize in 3D modeling animation. Larissa Holland says it's an honor that her instructors help make possible. They teach us work head on with you. They, they're, they're fine with any questions you ask. They're really responsive and helpful that you can email them anytime if you have run into a problem at four in the morning and they'll answer no problem. Other students in the program agree that the coursework is rigorous but rewarding. My experience here at Virginia State University has been a good one. I've been here for two years now and I am excited to continue with the professors and just the people that I know here. Right now yeah. it's actually not doing any. I've definitely learned a lot and I can't wait to continue my education. I wanted to go back to the basic principles, squares, circles. I'm just very passionate about it. I put my heart into it. It's nothing that you can learn. It's 
what's is creative is what you do. So no questions about that? With the passion for visual arts and a willingness to work hard, students can have great success in graphic design. But studying it at Virginia State University has a benefit that's hard to find elsewhere. The advantage of coming to Virginia State is that here you're a person. The classes are small. Okay, that's fine. We know each and every student. We work with each and every student to their strengths. So I need you to go ahead and render it out. For VSU Today, I'm Asia Toussaint. A web design program, which we will discuss in a later show, is also offered. It places emphasis on the aesthetic aspects of creating websites, along with the practical components of digital information transfer.